I'm Jen Ader, Fitness Center at Women's Health. And these circuits are designed to tone your entire body while keeping your heart rate up to burn tons of calories. And what's great is that we've made them customized to your fitness level. So for every move, there'll be an easier and a harder modification so that you can make sure you're really getting a personalized workout. Loop a resistance band around a sturdy object at about chest height. Grab both handles and back away until you can feel the resistance in the band. Your palms should be facing each other and your feet should be about hip width apart. Then sit back to lower into a squat until your thighs are parallel to the ground. Stand and row the bands by pulling your shoulder blades together. That's one rep. Each time you lower, really focus on pressing through your heels and pulling your shoulder blades back to row the bands. If that move is too difficult, you can do an easier modification by only lowering into a half squat and performing the row. If that's too easy, you can do a single leg squat, lowering, and again, pulling the band back with each rep. You'll finish all your reps, no matter what modification you're doing, with good form. Get into a push-up position with your hands directly under your shoulders and your body forming a straight line from your head to your heels. You wanna keep your core nice and tight, lower into a push-up, and as you press back to start, squeeze your glute to lift your foot a few inches off the floor. That's one rep. We'll do it again, and this time alternate legs. You wanna make sure that you're really keeping your core tight as you do this and squeezing your glutes as you lift your leg off the ground. To make it easier, you can place your hands on a step or bench, which takes the challenge a little bit away from your core and makes it easier to complete the push-up. Again, you'll lower your chest down towards the step, and then squeeze your glute to lift your leg off the floor. To make it more challenging, you'll get back into your push-up position, lower down, lift your leg off the ground, and press back to start, keeping it off the ground. Whichever modification you choose, complete all your reps by alternating legs. Lie face up on the floor and extend your legs straight and together and bring your arms overhead. You want to make sure that when you're starting here that your back's nice and flat and your core is engaged, almost like somebody's about to punch you in the stomach. In one motion, lift your left arm and your right leg to meet at the top and return to start. Making sure that you're keeping your back nice and flat, repeat with the other arm and leg. That's one rep. Again, you really want to make sure you're raising your chest up off the ground but keeping your back nice and flat and your core engaged. If that move is too challenging, you can do an easier modification with your feet flat on the ground. And this time, you'll just alternate arms reaching towards your knees instead of your feet. If the regular version is too easy, you can complete a more challenging version by grabbing a medicine ball and extending the ball overhead as you reach it towards your legs. Whichever variation you choose, make sure you complete it on both sides for one rep and continue to keep that core nice and tight as you go through your entire set. For this move, you'll need a medicine ball. Anything from about five to 10 pounds is probably a good place to start. Stand with your feet about hip width apart and bring the ball directly overhead, keeping your arms perfectly straight. Keeping your chest up and core tight, step forward with your right foot and lower into a lunge, bringing the ball down outside your right thigh. You want to make sure here that you have nice 90 degree angles in both your knees. Bring the ball back up as you press through the heel to return to standing. That's one rep. You'll do it on the other side and continue alternating. If that's too challenging, you can just lose the medicine ball and complete it as a body weight exercise. If it's too easy, you can complete the same move, but lower deeper into your lunge, trying to bring the ball almost all the way towards the ground. Then stand and move forward with each rep. Whichever modification you choose, continue alternating until you've completed all your reps. Loop a resistance band around a sturdy object at about chest height Grab both handles and back away until you feel the resistance in the band. Your 
Arms should be perfectly straight out in front of you with your palms facing the ground and your feet should be about hip width apart. From here, lower into a deadlift by bending your knees and pushing your hips back until your torso is parallel to the floor. Then, pull the resistance bands towards you by bringing your elbows out, pulling your shoulder blades together, then return to the starting position by reversing the motion. That's one rep. If that's too difficult, you can do the same move by only lowering halfway to the ground and pulling the bands toward you. And if this move is too easy, you can do a modification where you go down into the rep, pull the band, return to start, and add a vertical jump. No matter which modification you choose, you'll finish all your reps with proper form. Loop a resistance band around a sturdy object at about chest height. Turn your back and grab both handles with your palms facing down. Then step away until you start to feel the resistance in the band. Keeping your chest upright, bend your knees and jump forward, then press the bands out in front of you until your arms are fully extended. Step back to the starting position. Make sure with each rep, you're bending your knees, landing softly, and keeping your chest straight up, not leaning forward. If that's too difficult, you can complete an easier modification by just stepping forward and pressing the bands and stepping back to the starting position. If that's too easy, you can do a harder version on one foot, jumping forward, pressing the bands, and then jumping back, landing on the opposite foot. Whichever modification you choose, complete all your reps with proper form, keeping your chest up and your core engaged. Start by getting into a push-up position with your hands about shoulder width apart, your core tight, forming a nice straight line from your head to your heels. From here, you're going to shift your weight onto your left side and rotate to the right into a side plank, bringing your hand to your hip. Then raise your right knee off the ground towards your chest, lower it back down, and reverse to start. That's one rep. You'll switch sides and do that on the left and continue alternating. If that's too challenging, you can place your hands on a step or bench, which takes some of the pressure off of your core and makes it a little bit more stable. Again, you'll shift onto your left side into a side plank, bring your hand to your hip, then raise your knee up towards your chest. Lower it and return to start. Again, complete it on your left side and continue alternating. For a more challenging version, you'll get back into the push-up position, shift your weight onto your left, rotate to the right into a side plank, bring your knee up, return to start, then add a mountain climber by bringing both knees up towards your chest. Whichever modification you choose, continue alternating until you've completed all your reps. Start this move by grabbing a five to 10 pound medicine ball and standing with your feet about hip width apart. Bring the ball directly overhead with your arms straight. Now in one motion, you're gonna bring the ball outside to your right, keeping your arms straight as you step over to the left. Step to the left and bend your knee to lower into a side lunge, sweeping the ball outside your toe. Reverse the motion to return to standing. That's one rep. Now you're gonna do it on the other side, sweeping the ball outside to the left as you step to the right and lower into a lunge. If that's too challenging, you can lose the ball and just perform this as a body weight movement. If it's too easy, you can perform the same movement, stepping over to your side, sweeping the ball, then lifting your foot a few inches off the ground before returning to start. Whichever modification you choose, continue alternating until you've completed all your reps. 